Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Virgo season. The analytical, the overthinker, the dreamer, the seductress, the person who yells at you if you, like, get ashes on the freshly painted porch after she whined about the porch being painted. <laughs> Welcome to Virgo season, Virgo, and cross watchers for Virgo, and everybody else, because technically this is all signs reading for the season of Virgo, but Virgo, it's your birthday. Never forget that. I'm just saying, oh, shit. Ooh, someone's trying too hard to be matcha for you this season. This is not signs read. It's a resonates kill. If not, it's boop your nose, way it goes. No, 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 no. Just don't at me, bro. I finally fixed it. I just got some super glue. It's temporary, but it works. So I can wear it. Hopefully, I don't fuck it up today. Because I might. Robo Dodo. Strange how a robot feels threatened by a sword at their neck. As above, so below. Space death. Someone dying alone, basically. That's the thoughts and feelings. Someone doesn't want to be alone. What? Or someone... Wait, hold on. Why is someone thinking and feeling this way? Like, I'm gonna die alone. Like, you're gonna die alone anyway. You have people surround you. Like, no one else is dying with you. I don't understand... What I don't know, like, what, you don't want to be lonely when you die? Why? So everyone will smell you when you die? Do you know what happens when you die? Everything is released. Everything. Someone finds out that the wings are not half-priced. Despite the fact of them trying to be the lord of the hunt. They're holding, like, the, the, the flaily dude. Or whatever, hostage. It's an infinite cosmic mess. Someone hasn't eaten. Someone doesn't want to eat the banana because they know it's not going to work for them anyway. Um, they are king shit. Someone's king shit, Canaries. <clears throat> Let's see. Rude thoughts and feelings? Someone is not a uterus with feet. Which is like. What, like, fast ass? Is that is that what I'm thinking? Fast ass? That's what it feels like. Hmm. Some mythical creature. That's what's upcoming and next. Someone's looking like a beast. This person who they're thinking, possibly feeling about? If not themselves. Um... They look at them like a monster, or they're about to deal with a fucking monster. One of the two. They think they're going to die alone, but then they come back as a mythical creature who is whatever. Um, the obstacle and challenge ahead, the actual conflict. The pyramid-headed pyramid bird, it dictates. Next coming result, someone can't hide or confuse someone with what they're thinking and feeling. Someone needs to make up their up their goddamn mind. Y'all. Spark fire girl season. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The energy and vibration for this. Someone's not as weird of a tree as what they they think they are. I was just thinking of my vice versa deck. I should probably go get them. I wish these camcorders came with a pause button, or maybe I'm just getting the wrong kind of camera, but it's like... Son of a bitch. I should get my very first back out, because apparently he wants to be used. Because I just have... That's like the second, third time I've had a flash about him. It's Papa Macho person here. You're all in their masculine energy. It's not very feminine. They're not... They're <laughs> They are not resting in their femininity, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's a hell of a joke. Uh, 
The sword behind her back? It's like an injustice right here. That's what's at their neck. There's constant injustice at their neck. There's constantly something about to step on their fucking neck. Um, thoughts and feelings. Princess of Pentacles. It could be uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, is that what it is? Virgo, if you're dealing with a situation where someone thinks a certain way about you, right? They probably think you're dying alone or some shit, but in reality, I feel like you're kind of being a guardian and guarding yourself. And it doesn't seem like there's anything fucking happening, though. The roots and thoughts and feelings is someone is not a uterus with feet, or someone doesn't have one. Um, it is not an absolute failure. What? So, like, seriously, was someone worried that someone else was a fast ass? Or they're hoping they were? It, 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 it's... Like, it kind of worked, but it didn't. Like, what? Someone was fucking with an ex or something? I don't know. Weird tree reverse. This person's just a normal fucking tree with antler legs and shit. Oh, they got the, all of the emotions. Prince Cups or King of Cups. We Cancer or Pisces Scorpio. Someone is, um... Yeah, I'm not like the other guys. Oh, I'm not like the other girls. I don't know, but they got a rage. They have emotion. Anger. Little bit of resentment. Petty. Seems like they want to charge in. Or they're really bitter about I don't know. It's just mmm. The Mishmithy. Or whatever. They broke what? Well, this is a mythological creature. Like, you know, that's why you can't pronounce its name. It's like a name that, like, it's not as old as the trees, but it makes the trees wonder how the fuck to pronounce it. Of course, some ballroom music comes in for the pyramid-headed bird. This is the obstacle and conflict that's coming up. Ooh, it might be you, Virgo. Taurus and Capricorn. Just guarded yourselves. It's just like, no, I'm not putting up with this bullshit. I'm not putting up with that. Like, I'm slow coming, but I won't come at all. <clears throat> go sit down. Like, just go sit down. Go away. Like, I think... This feels like someone expects somebody to, like... I almost want to say back. Maze face, they can't hide what they're trying to hide. They can't look puzzled. Um, their puzzle is solved, and they just solved it, but they gotta act like they don't understand. My priestess, their intuition just lit up. Could be with a Pisces. Got Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Libra for sure. Taurus, you've shown up three times. Libra, you've shown up twice. Pisces, you've shown up twice. There is luxury somewhere in this. I don't know why, but I'm getting Marilyn Monroe vibes for Virgo season. It's like someone expects the worst of y'all, and then you come in your beautiful white dress, you have your best friend, that bitch. You're both judging people together. You think that chick's dress is overrated. You're making fun of the one bitch whose dress looks a little bit too much like yours, but that's okay because you're gonna go in the bathroom later and uh, top that thing off because it definitely needs a little bit of adjusting to show just how sexy you are. Like, that's how it feels. It's like you're wearing the whole feather boa. To the ball and everyone's staring because it's just like oh oh damn this isn't what i thought at all i thought you were going through a whole thing it's like people are seeing what's going on with you what do you mean by vice versa Dad? the fuck oh that was my cranberry pills
begins. Our base first. I'm gonna have to cut this out because I don't need it. about that y'all like I have my stuff everywhere at least today uh, I was supposed to be off yesterday but no I had to get overtime and it's like god girl you're getting old though oh there's my little witch deck I was wondering what happened to that yay Ooh, maybe I'll use that next here's my face first oh there's my dolly there's my doll no that's the star deck no, Dolly's in the drawer, but still. There's my star man. I just switch these a lot more often, honestly. I used to, like, rotate them all. We're using vice versa this time, because it's been a call, and it's just like, I got shit to say! Okay, man, all right. So, oh yeah, let's do a vibe check. What's actually what's going on with this person? Like, what's up with them? What the fuck is their problem? <laughs> uh, a giant sperm is not fighting a dove. Hmm. I feel like they're try definitely like wanted to devour it. Like the bird would be falling, but the sperm would be in the air. Hmm. Ooh, two of them. H.P. Lovecraft was a prophet. Bet. Backstabber and betrayer. Someone called something out about somebody. Might be revealed in Virgo season. Virgo season is about analyzation as well as overthinking. Pace yourself because you're going to want to judge fucking everything. And Virgo, um, just a side note. If you've been in the shits, Virgo season will, might not be a good time for you. You know? I'm just prop up a damn coffee, some bitch. I'm just saying, like, this, like, I don't, like, Saturn is retrograde. And right now, as many fucking seasons as it's gonna go through, um, everybody's getting shit. Everybody's getting shit. But the sign I feel like that is the season. Um... That's particularly how it's going to hit everybody. <clears throat> QVC Shoppa. Someone's got a lot of credit. STDs are the least of their problems. Rips off the wings of a butterfly. Watercolor portrait of a dumpster fire. Oh. During Virgo season, I think someone's definitely making allegations against somebody. And then everyone finds out that's not anywhere close to true let's rip this wings off oh no it's a dumpster on fire am i fucking surprised <clears throat> or someone feels as though they're going to be revealing this about somebody and show oh the stds are not their problem this is their problem and it's just like mm, it's calling a lot of energy biting the hand that feeds you is just teenage angst I got my shit together. What about you? All jacked up like a broke down car. Mmm. Spiritual warfare started. Oh, someone. Okay. These go away. Because I'm hot, sticky sweet. This is like. Okay. Well, whatever, man. Whatever. Y'all are weird. Y'all are weird. Y'all are weird. Where's my vice for? Come here. Someone's being all Papa Macho, it, but it, it's rea it, it, because they're a bitter fucking bitch, basically. Someone's in their masculine, they can't sit in their feminine, because who knows. S someone was the good, is possibly the goodest boy ever with someone, Ten of Pentacles. However, 
they're suggesting that like they're, this mythical fucking creature that they've created is actually broke. I feel like someone wants to expose somebody. I am the person without a defendi. Giant cups reverse. Ah, and then turning their back disgracefully. And then looking back at what's happened, um, but only seeing it from their own little world's perspective. That's their only focus. They're not looking, comparing it to the real world. No, they have their own world. Thank you, Alarm. Oh, I thought someone hit me up with a message. It's just like, I don't want to talk to nobody right now. <laughs> For the night, I guess. What is that even the lyrics to the song? No, it's still the night. Why thief in the night? I don't know. Someone wants to be a thief in the night um, and then leave the ship behind two swords to let people know don't fuck with me. The other five that's for decoration purposes. That's going on my damn wall. Like, I don't know why they think doing sneaky shit's a good idea. They're hoping that, like, somehow the relationship will be weird. Only if somebody leaves. Like, someone could leave and they'd be like, Oh, well, I don't know. Like, we seem like we were cool here. I don't know. I don't know. They're still talking about a person like they're a fucking clown, though. I'm only saying that because the back of this... Okay, I see why they want it vice versa now. The back of this shows them entertaining a bunch of people like it's a fucking fool. But now the fool wants to fucking leave. That way, so we're gonna, like, I don't know. Like, we're going cross watchers? Like... I don't like someone's mouth. Queen of Wands is picking it up, though. She's sensing that. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, for sure. Down below, though, someone's being a total robo-dodo, and they have a sword to their back. Like, is this to get them to, to do this injustice? Or was this their reward for the injustice? And they're just waiting for it to stab them. Because it's like, um... It seems like they're the ones that are more angry. Despite the fact that this Queen of Wands is picking it up. But down here, it's like... There's a reason for it. Because down below, they're kind of dealing with some shit. They're dealing with shit. And I, I feel like they're kind of taking it out on someone during the season. Ah, oh, all sorts of cards. Someone isn't as glorified as what they believe, either them or you or something like that. We got a whole bunch of books. Mm -hmm, let's see. Queen of Swords put her sword up. She's not emotionally fulfilled with this situation anymore, so it's like, fuck it, I'm getting the fuck out. I'm taking the action of leaving, since you want to be that way. I can hear someone say that, like, you know, someone doesn't feel like it's worth the end of this obstacle right here, you know? Like, just to get this victory, but have someone act like they don't know how to talk to another person, you know? Hmm. Someone's got, like, a whole god control complex, and I'm not sure what the fuck. <clears throat> I feel like someone's trying to tempt them into a situation that they're not falling for to begin with. Or maybe they will. Maybe they will. Maybe they will follow them in. Only for the investment, though, where they feel like they've invested a certain financial thing to them, which is just like, what the fuck? Someone's stuck at their own crossroads. Kind of just hanging out there. But that's that. That's not helping for nothing. That's actually that actually makes things worse. They're not not help. Not it, it's it's not that they held someone to a particular standard. I think it's just really easy for a person to fall from the platform an individual has in their head. You know, um, <clears throat> those sensitive motherfuckers who if they find out you're into like I don't know smoky weed or video games, all of a sudden like oh I can't hang out with you. I can't tolerate your kind. Um, you're below me. That kind of shit. All of a sudden, they don't have respect for you, but they let you know that they didn't have respect to begin with. It was more the image or what they thought. <coughs> mm. One more on this. Really? Mm hmm. I mean, someone could fix the problem. I just don't think they're going to. 
Like, they see the light. They're just not going anywhere towards it. Like, if this was a breakup anywhere within Virgo season... Someone is more blinded by the light than they are encouraged by it. They back they back the fuck up. They back the fuck up is what it is. Space death. With the princess of discs. Virgo, this could be you. You could be guarding yourself. Also, Taurus and Capricorn, you as well. But this is someone's thoughts and feelings. Like you're like you're gonna die alone, but it's like I don't I don't feel like that's like this is their thoughts and feelings. I feel like they also know you're guarded, but it's like why do they feel this way about y'all? I don't know. They're I guess they gotta learn balance, but at the same time, this popped up this way, so I'm not sure how I feel. What is this bitch? What? Well, they did. She's a whole other bitch to make somebody jealous. Like, what the hell is this? <clears throat> it could also be them, too. So this is in the center and space death is in the center. But it's like, who's really choosing to be alone here? The person who doesn't have anybody? Or the person who can't, like, actually commit to somebody? Like, who's really alone here? Like, that's a really good question. You know, it's one thing to, be, like, actually not be in a relationship, but it's a whole other thing to be in a relationship and you're totally by yourself in it. You know? Leaving the other person to hang, shit like that. This is such a weird read for Torio season, but... I don't know, maybe people pick somebody over you. And now they're, they, like, they're tripping. They ate a bunch of mushrooms, and now they, they're not sure what the fuck's going on. It's like, ah! And just running around with their fucking blankets and shit. Hmm. Like, they want to resurrect something, and all it's going to result is some naked bitch in the background dancing. They're going to be like zombies. Not really any reason to, uh, come back to something. You know, I read an interesting meme a while ago, where it was like, you know... What was it? Can we just be friends? I felt like I could die without you, so I had to make you dead to me. And I don't want to be friends with something that smells like death. That's the feeling I got with that one. Wow, I'm really glad I picked these ones up. Hmm. There might be a mistress involved here. Maybe that was a bitch dancing in the background. And someone's... Uh, despite the fact someone was happy with the horse. Now what the fuck does that mean? Did the horse let someone else ride them? Mm. Words, words, words. <coughs> Rid of the thoughts and feelings. A uterus with no feet. Just sits there. Um. I don't know why, but I feel like this person's making sure you don't have sex or something. But at the same time, I feel like you're not trying to either. You know? It, it, like, it, one of those weird things where it's just like someone's completely convinced that you must be fucking... Like a guy, right? Like a guy totally assuming you must be fucking somebody else because why aren't you here with me? And it's just like... Because I don't... I, I have a vagina. It doesn't work like that with me. I don't need sex. I like it, but I don't really need it. Like, sometimes I need to get laid. Like, sometimes, I don't know, but it's like, it's one of those weird things where your ex is convinced you're trying to fuck people, but you're really not. So, it could be like, you're just chilling at home, not doing much of anything, they never see you out, and even if they did, they'd probably watch your shit. <coughs> probably, I don't know, because this almost seems like the kind of thing where it's like, someone would say something on social media with like, subliminals in it. To where if the person they're talking about read it, they'd know instinctively they were talking about them. But everybody else, they would have no fucking idea. Um, but they also, but it's almost like they don't know that it's not successful because they've been doing things. Because that's the only thing that makes sense. It's like someone thinks someone's maybe a fast ass and they put that to a halt. It's like, no, I put your parking brake on. Sit the fuck down. You know. They want to. St oh. uh. Mm. Okay. 
Make all regrets. So at least they're human. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. The bitch from the background is up here dancing in the middle. Like, mm. There's a bitch in the middle. Could be Pisces. But there's definitely a bitch in the middle. And that's and and like her dance keeps zombies a zinging, aka um, someone won't leave someone alone. Someone can't leave someone alone now. Someone might have been fucking Pisces on the side. Yeah, and then the one person's like, I'm out. The person that read on this side, they were like, I'm out of this shit. Bye. Yeah, it's kind of hard to resurrect a relationship when their bitch won't leave. That's for sure. I I, I stand that message. For very good season. It, it, it's just a situation where I think if you are dealing with somebody else, you, you kind of got to make this choice, man. Whether you want to or not. And it could be dealing with the fire sign. Could also be Capricorn, Aquarius. Fuck it. Everybody. Everybody's on the fucking board. Really? Well, anybody but an air sign. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't think there's any swords out. Well, no, Gemini's out here. Also, Libra. Never mind, I lied. Okay. Yeah, okay. Everyone's out here, pretty much, but it's like. There aren't any air cards. There's the Rubo Dodo. There's the one dude, Ma Papa Machu, whose dick is a sword. But other than that, no actual sword. So there isn't a lot of communication or thinking in this. There's emotions. There's feelings. Oh, there's the Seven of Swords, but... I don't count that as anybody. That's just sneaky for any motherfucker who, who comes into that energy. Like, you know what you're doing and you're trying to get the fuck away with it. And it looks like someone was definitely trying to do that. Someone wanted to find a sneaky way out of something and made someone go away. And this bitch knew this. Someone sensed this. Someone, like, in the air and, like, smelled this, the, uh, uh, what was a whiffing. Someone smelled what was a whiffing away. Someone realized what was happening. And then they skedaddled. They were just like, nah. I feel like someone isn't trying to fight the idea of settling down versus the idea of freedom. You know. Like I got a lot of credit. I, I, I can afford a house or something like that. It's just like, I don't want to rent anymore. I'm ready to find a permanent place for to settle down. I'm ready to do this. I don't know who they are, though. They got credit, but it's like the way that they're starting out and doing things. That's what makes it a little bit questionable, you know? Their vibration. An energy. They're not a weird tree, but they're definitely, like, very, very petty. <clears throat> Nothing seems to be moving along for them, because, like, they're not delivering anything. Mind you, the other person during Virgo season, definitely you, Virgo, I feel like, is kind of guarding yourself. You know, they got a shield, but it's suicide. You got your shield up blocking their bullshit. And you're just like, no... Thank you. Coming in all angry and such. I ain't putting up with that. No one needs to put up with that. Who would want to put up with that? Would you? I don't. I don't need someone dramatic. <laughs> sure, I need someone as fiery and as passionate as I am, but that's just a given. I need someone who is capable of being a kid, too. As well as an adult. Or at least know how to joke or something. Because, like, I can't... <coughs> Excuse me. I can't... I cannot... Be with a serious person. I need someone who's going to laugh at themselves constantly. Ooh! And look at them trap themselves up. 
That's what I mean. Okay, and so now we got some swords energy. They feel stuck. They feel trapped. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Oh. I guess it doesn't feel good when it happens to you. This other person, I guess this fire sign. For sure. Or you have fire in your charts. One of the two. Um, you get to observe possibly somebody else. In a situation of their own making. They bound themselves. They restricted themselves. The way that they came in is like they wanted to be like, I'm not giving you this and I'm not giving you that. And it's just like, okay. But then they see themselves restricted in the situation that they are in. And you get to observe it as, ah, oh, this is the world I created. Possibly. I'm not sure if you're going to be that petty. But they are definitely stuck in a position where, like, you know, where they projected onto you. Now you are in that projection. Like, they were totally focused on their own world. But now this card's a different way. So it's like, no, I, I'm, I'm focused a little bit on you, but you're only part of the rest of the world. You are just a little light bulb that comes on when I flick the light on as millions of light bulbs. You were one of many fish that don't stink. I don't understand why you think you're special because you don't right now. You know what I mean? Like, they think you're cute. Okay, what's coming up for them? This mythological creature they created about this person who I think left? Yeah, I think it's y'all who left because it was just like... I don't have enough of us. This is stupid. Think you're broke, possibly. Well, yeah, they just put their intuition all in the back burner, but at the end of the, uh, end of the day, they realize, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I guess they were all supposed to work together. One did the work, and the other one did instructions. However, Someone kicked the bucket in this bitch's face, so this bitch, like, splashed some water back. Why do I feel like the bucket was deserved, though? Why is she telling him that his dick's too small? I'm just saying, this is the person who's doing the work, but they're the one who kicked the bucket. However, this is the instructor, so what the fuck did this bitch say <laughs> the bucket kicked at her? You know, this one actually takes physical action. This one uses their mouth. This one launches a fucking bucket at this bitch's head. She just splashes him with some water. Nowhere near as effective, but it does cause some emotional damage. That's what it does. It's like someone's work ethic was a kick to someone's face. They were insulted. And then they got all emotional and started saying some shit. Or worse, gave someone the raw instructions on purpose. Which is not only cowardly, that's dangerous and can hurt somebody. But I guess they didn't give a fuck. But they want to, I guess they want to ignore that part. So the person, y'all might remind this person of what they've done. It's just like, like, I don't even know. I feel like they're just going to stare at you blank face once it hits them that you know, that they know, that you know. Release me! Someone's going to let their guard down. Oh, that splash made them all in their feelings. I put you in your feelings. Like, you want to let guard down and understand the person? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea at all. This is the next situation to come up, but I'm, but I'm just saying it. I don't think this is a good idea. Don't let your guard down. Keep that son bitch up. The pyramid-headed bird. What does it say about this guard? Mm. Bitch-ass Becky being in a bitchy mood. All the unfairness of being stuck. Nowhere to go. Hmm. Me think somebody wants to influence y'all for a second round.
Do you believe in the sands of time? Sorry, uh, we are redoing all that. Because it's just like, mm, I don't think so. Because that doesn't seem um, congruent. Or in harmony with the rest of this. You know, it doesn't seem to mesh very well with the message. And I don't appreciate that. So we're going to try it again. Because that right there just didn't sound fucking right. Like, there's a reason why you kick the bucket in someone's face. Like, why is there all this sense and why is there all, all this understanding that no matter what happens from this person's side, they're not going to do anything about it because they see the light. They just don't want to go near it to fix the shit, right? The other person left because this is all bullshit. Why is it all of a sudden like, oh, well, you're going to open your door. You're going to try to talk to this person. There's nowhere else for you to go. Like, I don't know. Oh, no. No, ma'am or sir. No, we're not even going to encourage that kind of thinking. Was it injustice? Probably. Definitely. Hmm. It was an injustice from both sides. Both of y'all were fucking wrong. <laughs> uh, that is part of your card, Virgo. Your symbol is actually on the floor. But someone, but someone's convicted on that side. Someone is convicted. I don't know which one of y'all is the sperm or which one of y'all is the dove, but it's just like, mm. someone's all paranoid of snakes, but they're not even paying attention to the snake that's right the fuck in front of them. They're just uh, eating a nib nose. Then they go in king of cups energy. I'm gonna turn my back, but at least you'll know where I stand. Which is like, okay, whatever. The other person seems to be hard at work in order to avoid the idea um, that they're in their feelings. Which, once again, why is all this weird emotional shit coming up? Like, this is very strange. Because if I didn't know any better, it's almost like... Whoever this is, they really, really, really want to be convinced that you miss them or you're a fucking slut. I can't tell which one it is. More than likely the latter than the former, but they really hope, really, 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 really hope, I think, that you miss them. Because it keeps coming up. I feel like this is their reading. But I don't think that the certain cards that are being brought out are correct. But if you don't trust my judgment, that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to complain. I'm saying you listen to me after everything fucking else, but mm. yeah, I think they fucked up their own fortune. Move fortune reverse, stalled themselves. Ooh, is this what they tried to do? Have you fall asleep and ruin all of your shit, and now you're just sitting here waiting for nothing? The prospect of hopefully having something. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it, it, like, I think you're aware they went and fucked shit up. I think you're aware they fucked something up. I was just talking about this the other day with somebody, too. What was it? Like, you can usually tell that you're with someone who's casting spells on you because it's like, they talk hateful stuff to you, and then worse things happen to you. Oh. Hello, Brother Panic. I don't know how, but you're here. I probably added it to the wrong playlist. If you've never checked out Brother Panic, you should. He's very good with his lectures. Mm, all the way on the floor. Tower Reverse. Tower didn't come about because someone ran their fucking mouth. Oh, okay. Incessantly at that. There's an air sign for sure. There is an air sign for sure. It definitely could be a Libra or a Gemini. Possibly Aquarius, but I don't. Eh, not really.
See, this is why I was so much more happier, like, pulling out different ones, because it's just like, that makes more sense to me. Because this person, like, I don't know why, it's just, they got a lot of emotions for someone who doesn't think. You know, that's what I'm noticing. There's more emotions and actions. A little bit of fundage, or a little bit of foundation, anyway, with the pentacles. But there isn't a lot of fucking thinking, except for how they're stuck in the situation, how, I don't know, they feel like you are judging them, maybe? What if you're a Virgo? What, what did they expect? They've known this about you since they met you. Like, I, I don't know, but it's like... They got a mouth! The tower is avoided literally because of them running their mouth. Trying to make thirsty and sitting there waiting. It's like, hmm. What could they possibly get, say to have you sit there waiting to dig up a fucking dying tree? Waiting for the last crops that are ever going to pop up on this old ass tree. This withering, um, whatever tree. Trying to garner something. It, this is like, if you were in a relationship with this person, this person's a donut, right? Sprinkles, chocolate frosting, chocolate cake batter. Delicious, right? You eat that donut, and then you use the bathroom. Now, in a relationship-wise, you love that donut. It's hard to find. Nobody even makes it anymore. Are you going to go pick through the shit to find the pieces of the donut that you enjoyed? Sure, you might find a couple pieces where the cake's still alive. There's a little bit of sprinkles and frosting all stuck together, but you can't tell if that's what it is. No matter how good that donut was, you going back to that donut in its poop form is still, like, no matter how many sprinkles you find, it's still going to taste like the shit. You've already been through it. Why are you going back picking through, like, a digested donut just to find the remnants of something you once enjoyed and now find that it's... You don't understand why your dog does what it does. Because it's just like, how is this good, man? Like, uh, I can't believe what this is. This is the, like, you know, it's one of those. That's the analogy I got for y'all. This tree is that donut that's been in the toilet floating for a couple of hours. Cause as you sat there and thought about it. Are you really going to dig this up? I think you should dig it up. And just say, fuck whatever grows on it. Like, the potential is what it is. Seven of... The pentacles right here. I mean, there is potential, but it's like, is that potential being utilized? Because it looks like someone's been sitting there for a really long time. Maybe this person's going to come in and try to argue, like, no, 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 don't dig the tree up. It's still got, it's still got a chance. And it's just like, you're just looking at it like, but how many chances should I give it? Oh, I, I, I've given it this many. It's losing more and more fruit a year. You know, that's the thing. It's like, it's like someone can come with a bunch of pros, as crazy as they are, but you're going to have all the cons because you're the one who's kind of been sitting here. Right? I don't think they have a choice. Like, you're the deciding person, I think. This person can't hide their confusion or they are unable to not be confused. Hold on, that's probably my mom. Mom's gonna make some breakfast, and it's a sausage biscuit. Uh, I can still eat a little bit of meat. I don't know, like, after you do more of a vegetarian kind of diet, meat just is, I don't know, it, it makes me feel...
heavy. Like, it actually bothers my stomach because it makes me heavy. And I never noticed that before. It's like, I've been on a whole vegetable kick for a minute, right? Usually I just fry them up in a pan and shit. But it's like, I don't know, ever since I've switched more to vegetables and I do eat meat, it's like, it's heavy. Like, super heavy. And it bothers my stomach. It's like, I don't like this full feeling. This is weird. <laughs> It's not even like a full feel, it's just like taking space, I guess. Let's see. So it's not emotionally satisfied, that's why they were a bitch. Uh, whoever this person is over here. Huh, are you almost dead? Yeah, you'll be alright, we're almost done. Well, I can make... What the fuck? Okay, so someone was bitter. They weren't emotionally satisfied. That's why they were being a bitch. But I feel like this person had an investment in home. For a person, too. And the other person just wanted to join their light with the candle. Or the candle with the sun. Is this how that's first? Is this what they think? Is that what they're going to express? Because someone's joining their candle with the light of the sun. Someone wants their light to also aid in the light of the fucking sun. It's like someone's basking in the truth and knowing that it goes with the right truth. And it's just like. It's like you all weren't even... It's like you weren't paying attention. It's like you were... Like, sure, you might have been broke, but you could afford everything. But this person was just sitting there waiting to see if you would come help them. So they didn't get attacked by the fucking bird either. It's like... Mmm. It's like you were too focused on what you were doing. But eventually you came back to the subject. And it was like... I think I just need to cut this off. I think I need to cut this off. I think I just need to fuck this up. Because this is not... This is just not... I'm just going to focus on joining my candlelight to the sun. Hopefully the sun brightens my light. I feel like that's actually what was happening. Like, there was more focus on the self. Because it's like... I think you knew what was going on as well. I kind of think that you know that, like... They don't want to... Well, I can't even say it's accountability. This is responsibility. You know, doing something about something. Not just talking about what the fuck you've done. Because what, what the fuck is that going to do other than make another person think a certain way about you? You know, people who want you to take accountability for your own actions in the past tend to not want to even look at their own a lot of times, like, because it's just like, why do you want people to revel in their shame so badly that you want it to be projected as a thing for everyone else, you know? Like, it's just like, don't use me as a fucking lesson. Because you're not teaching me a lesson, you're just having me sit here I talk about things that I've done that I'm probably not even comfortable with. No, 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 taking responsibility is doing something about what you've done. You know, I don't care if you, if you were a player back in the day. People change. Either for themselves or for others. In order to make themselves better. And I don't know. I feel like someone didn't expect somebody to change. You know, because Virgos are about analyzing and, like, figuring things out. Are they nerds? They can be. Like, oh god, they fucking, like... Remington Steel. Oh my god. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. Oh, the talking -y. The talking -y. Just talking. Talk, 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 talk. Which is hardly any here. There isn't any real communication. Except for, like, this obstacle that might be coming up. Just, like... They gotta convince someone to let the to like let a tree live when it's obvious that this tree isn't producing much of anything. Someone isn't idolized anymore. Someone isn't idolizing another person this season. It's 
Very strange season, honestly. Mm. Where are my gypsy car? Right here. Wow! 27 minutes are heavy. Mm. Well, not the time. I'm looking at what's on the battery because I'm just like, the fuck? Peggy. Here, yeah, Peggy, Peggy. Mm. Oh, someone's trying to be a pig to a woman. Enable an extra joker. But a dog is very suspicious. Especially in regards to a letter that just came in the mail about a crossroads situation. But be wary, there could be secrets. Especially pertaining to shaking another motherfucker's hand. I don't care what the CDC says. Six feet! That's what someone needs to say. That's what someone needs to say with a full fucking chest. Dicks out for Harambe! Dude, I was on a big kick with that shit for me. It was just like, why the fuck did they have to shoot the fucking animal because the kid went in there? You could have distracted it. But at the same time, this is what happens when you don't watch your fucking kid. Like, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I was just annoyed. Mm. Let's see. If you're a woman, I'd be really, really careful about who you let in on what it is you have. Like, I swear, someone will make you broke by constantly asking you for stuff. Um, whether it's money, whether it's, like, change, whether it's, like, cigarettes, weed, coffee, I don't know. Just little things at a time. Little things at a time, because they munch on it. But they're a pig. It's continuous. It'll bring, like, an extra joker. And then you'll be suspicious. And then you'll start reading into shit a little bad. And that's gonna cause one definitely to sit there and be like... I think you notice this about a person, though, anyway. Because it's just like... You really are coming up with fucking reasons, brah. You're coming up with a lot of reasons. A lot I don't even know if I justify, you know? I don't know. Anyway, this is the reading for Virgo season, so I don't know who's going to deal with this. It could be kind of specific. I feel like it's specific. Might not be for everybody. But it's definitely for somebody, because it's just like, what the fuck is this mess? Like... I don't know. And, I, and, the, and the thing is, though, the one thing that weirds me out, more than anything, is that it almost feels like someone's trying to push someone away. You know? Like, it, 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 I can't shake it. It's like, um... I don't know. It's like someone being really mean. In order to get somebody away from them. That, that's definitely. Like, might even go to the point of like. Um, fixing it. Or something. Mm -hmm. Like just fixing a whole thing. Not like it's broken or anything. But like. Um, like. Like rigging something. That's what I mean by fixing. I would be very, very careful. Like very careful. This season. Anyway. That was the reading for Virgo season. Hope you all enjoyed. Be safe. Stay suspicious. Love your face. And be very, very careful with an individual. Bye-bye.